The following is a chronology of the episode surrounding the Mavi Marmara ship raid using the videos that were shot by the IDF or by cameras aboard the ship. The Mavi Marmara left Turkey as part of a six ship flotilla. They attempted to deliver supplies to Gaza despite the ongoing blockade. The supplies included medicine, construction materials and electric wheelchairs. Despite Israel's initial offer to deliver the supplies to Gaza after a security check in Ashdod, the flotilla continued to travel in the direction of Gaza City. According to later IDF findings, weapons were also loaded on the Mavi Marmara and made available to activists on board. The following is an interview with one of the activists from the ship. When I went first convoy, I wanted to be a Shaheed. I wasn't that lucky. Second time, I wanted to be a Shaheed. Didn't work. Third time lucky, Inshallah, I'll be Shaheed. As the Mavi Marmara came closer and closer to Gaza, the Navy again ordered the ship to change course towards Ashdod, where the contents would be inspected before being transferred. Mavi Marmara, you are approaching an area of hostilities, which is under a naval blockade. The Gaza area, coastal region, and Gaza harbor are closed to all maritime traffic. The Mavi Marmara continued to ignore the orders, and the Navy decided to board the ship. The naval commandos did not expect violent resistance from the passengers and brought paintball guns as their main weapon and kept live ammo pistols on them for emergency purposes. As can be seen in videos shot by the IDF, the commandos were immediately attacked with iron bars as soon as they boarded the ship. Chains and stun grenades were also thrown at soldiers on a raft accompanying the ship on the side. The IDF also claimed that a firebomb was used on the boarding commandos. Attacking them with uh, uh, knives, uh, bars, and uh, one of them shot probably from a weapon that was taken uh, from one of the soldiers. After an hour of severe violence on the ship, the soldiers were given permission to use their pistols to open fire on the attackers. Nine activists were killed in the clashes, initiating international outcry over the incident. The Turkish Prime Minister, whose citizens were among those killed, called the raid a bloody massacre, and the Turkish ambassador to Israel was immediately returned to Turkey. But I regret to say that for many in the international community, no evidence is needed. Israel is guilty until proven guilty. The United Nations Security Council called for an investigation into the events of the raid, and the United States has already suggested that Israel set up an investigatory committee, including a U.S. representative. The other five ships from the flotilla were peacefully commandeered and brought to Ashdod, and the 21 truckloads of aid have been brought to the Gaza border, where they are still awaiting pickup. The episode is yet to end with investigations still being called for, and the upcoming arrival of another flotilla ship called Rachel Corey, named after the American activist who's run over by an IDF tractor in Gaza. What would you do? How would you stop thousands of rockets that are destined to attack your cities, your civilians, your children? How would your soldiers behave under similar circumstances? <laughs>